Oh, I was muted. Shit, I said so much stuff. God damn it. I'm so sorry, you guys. That must have been kind of awkward. Did you think that this was like method, some sort of like swan song stream to where I just like, it's just an undead staring at you with Stormwind music playing? That's amazing. Um, so I'm not late, am I? How's it going, you guys? Oh, wait, I didn't do my intro. Hey guys, what's up? Mad Season here. I'm back with another stream for you. Hey, Erisira, what's up? Mad Season here. I'm back with another stream for you. Hey, Eskimo3, what's up? Mad Season here. I'm back with another stream for you. Actually, that's the second time I've done that. But the first time I was muted. I'm so sorry. Um, all right. So today is a special day, as you guys could tell by the, the title of the stream. All right. It is BlizzCon Day, and we've uh, just barely have made it here. They are, uh, they're playing, yeah, they're playing uh, really awful techno music right now. It is uh, 15, no, 10 minutes now, 10 minutes until BlizzCon starts. We will be watching it together and reacting to it. Mad Season reacts, yes. Uh, this is going to be my first reaction stream. We will be watching the opening ceremony. We will be probably making fun of retail. <laughs> as is a custom on this stream. We'll make fun of Classic too, don't worry. Um, my predictions, okay, official predictions. Let's hear your guys' predictions. I'm huffing on that copium. Classic Plus. Classic Plus, Cataclysm Classic are my two predi <gasps> predictions. Uh, we had a little bit of an event yesterday. I see some of you guys mentioning it. <gasps> I'm never doing a dungeon ever again in hardcore mode, at least for like the next few days. Yeah, we went into ZF and we almost lost the very character that you see before your very eyes, you guys. Through no fault of my own, by the way. I looked back at that clip and oh my god, that was some of the most professional gameplay I've ever seen in my entire life. That was some top tier priest gameplay, if I do say so myself. And I totally did not rat out. I stayed there literally until the last possible second. For a group of strangers and I tried my very best and we eventually uh, extracted ourselves out of the situation um, apparently I ran past an evade spot I didn't even know there wasn't there was an evade spot in Zulfurak so poo on me I suppose I, I didn't do my homework on that one but yeah that uh, uh, that yeah that kind of took a few years off my life I'm not sure if I want to do dungeons on this character anymore I might just quest until level 60 um, instead of doing dungeons because that was, uh, I, I would like to, I would like to uh, detach any sort of responsibility from that wipe for myself, okay? I felt like I was doing some top tier gameplay, I was killing totems, I was popping out a shadow form, I was throwing out some heals, I, I threw out a clutch, if I do say so myself, a clutch target dummy. I, uh, I tried my very best, you guys. I used every single tool. I used uh, my really sticky glue. I used every single tool at my disposal. And unfortunately, it just wasn't enough. I know for a fact the tank and healer died. I don't know if the mages got out of there. But uh, I certainly hope they did. I felt I felt kind of bad. I wanted to... I mean, you're, you're witnessing... Ooh, look at this. Oh, okay, I don't feel too bad anymore because I just got like three gold in the uh, in the mail there. Hell yeah. Wait, no sound? Okay, here we go. You know, you're watching people with like, you know, days, weeks, months of time investment die before your very eyes. It sucks. So I apologize to my uh, fellow Horde compatriots out there. I tried my best, you guys. I tried my best. As, as I was not the healer, too. I was a worthless shadow priest, okay? <laughs> oh, God. Wait, hang on. I'm sorry. Rudiger, thank you for the prime, my main man. For three months now. Tycho, thank you for the prime for three months. Um, I'm just going to fly to Feralus because I think we have a quest over there. We're at this... Uh, hang on, let me look at BlizzCon here, actually. Blizz, it hasn't started yet, you guys. It starts in... Seven minutes. I, I kind of have to take a dump. Um... Speak. Let's fly to Fearless. I'm gonna go void my bowels. Sorry, I've kind of started the stream very rushed. I uh, just finished breakfast here, and I did not have a chance to avoid my bowels yet. So not to start off the stream with an AFK, but we're gonna start off the stream with an AFK. Um, and I'm gonna play some advertisements so our BlizzCon stuff doesn't get interrupted. So yeah, sorry about this, you guys, but I'm gonna play like three minutes of ads here. I know we just started, but this will be this will be good. Because
Okay, we're back. Uh, our bowels are voided. We have, hang on, one moment, one moment. I would be remiss if I were to forget the nectar of the gods. Boom, baby. How are we looking here on BlizzCon? Was it starting? Okay. All right, we're going to switch. I'm going to log off here. And we're going to maybe do like a fearless quest here. I think we had like a yellow quest here we could do, maybe. Unless I'm mistaken. Shit. I'm sorry for this awful techno music, you guys. Hang on, can I mute this? It's not my music of, of choice. Let's just pause that for a moment. I'm going to try to not be toxic during this stream, by the way. We probably will be making fun of retail, okay, as is custom. However, uh, I'm going to try to not be toxic at the same time. All right, Chrome. I'm sure I'm going to have to set up a completely new window capture because uh, for some reason I cannot capture Chrome on this computer. Add source, window capture. Can it just be capture automatically? Why does that not work? Okay, whatever. Let's come on. There we go, our help. Oh, I'm sneeze. <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ. My God. I hope that wasn't too loud, you guys. I apologize. All right. Are you guys ready? You guys ready for this crap? Mad Season Reacts. Ooh, let me do this real quick, too. Ah, uh, no, not really. Give me a moment, you guys. I'm a boomer. Uh, wait, what the fuck? Why is this? Okay. Oh, yeah. The show begins in Kyrts. So it's the show begins in... What's Kyrts? I don't know what Kyrts means. Begins shortly, maybe? In Kyrts means shortly. Soon. La diffusion va bientôt commencer. That's, this is obviously uh, Spanish, right? Uh, all right, here we go, you guys. Oh, shit. Rating RP, ERP to M. Oh, they're talking about the uh, the Goldshire RP. Oh, God, look at all these people. Are you ready to rock? This is the first BlizzCon in like four, three or four years, right? Uh, am I not mistaken, or did they have one last year? Overwatch, Diablo. I wouldn't say Lilith is necessarily wholesome. Brought to you by Pixar. Oh, that was Warcraft Rumble, mobile game. Urge to complain about microtransactions rising. How's our volume levels, you guys? Is this too loud, or is this is this okay? Can you hear my voice? Do I need to turn this down? I Blizzard is like so. Uh, how do you guys feel about this? Blizzard is, seems like so Pixar-y recently. You know what I mean? Just like the graphics. It sounds good. Okay, cool. It's so Pixar-y. Ash girl, thank you for the prime. It's starting to lose a lot of its grit, all of their games, not just WoW. It's kind of turning like kind of cartoony, like Disney-esque in a way. I don't know how I feel about that. This is BlizzCon 2023. Please welcome the president of Blizzard Entertainment, Mike Ibarra. Didn't, um... Wasn't there like a lot? Oh, I won't even say it. Never mind. I had a thought, let's but I'm gonna just let's pay attention here. How's everybody doing? Oh man, you know this is the best gaming community in the world, hands down, hands down. Thank that wasn't a very big wow. reaction. Hello, BlizzCon. 
You know, it is so good to be back in person, finally. Yeah. All of us. Mike has actually turned it up. All Here. of us at Blizzard have missed this so much. Let's turn it up a little bit. Four years. It's been four years. You know what I say to that? That's too damn long. Ooh, he swore. Wow. Not PG. Where's heroes of Overwatch at? Hell yeah, battle passes, baby. Adventurers of Sanctuary? Woo! Defenders of Azeroth? Okay, wow. Wow, still winning. And gamers everywhere. They're, they're mostly Welcome. classic players, you guys. No, actually, no. Classic players don't leave their basements. Those are mostly retail players. We love sharing what we're working on all the time. But to share it in person with all of you, and to hear your stories, it cannot be matched. Meeting you all face to face inspires us. And we put this energy and enthusiasm back into everything we do. Thank you all for being here. Aww. In fact, we have tens of thousands of you here in Anaheim, California today. And we hope you enjoy the immersive experience we've created here at the show. We also have millions of people watching right now on stream. BlizzCon, please help me welcome everyone watching from around the world. Hell yeah, brother. Wolfpact. Oh, shit, I don't have alerts set up. Thank you, Wolfpact. Appreciate that, dude, for the Prime Man Main Man. Are we going to get a fill appearance, or is that too early? Gamer, or if it's been a while since you picked up one of our games, we're here to show you the blizzard we are today and the blizzard we are becoming. But BlizzCon isn't just about the latest updates from Blizzard. It's all about you. Players are at the forefront of everything we do, and we're devoted to supporting these incredible communities. Communities you can be Just show the video of. games. All of us, <laughs> gamers, developers, and fans, we all Thank you, Max. are united in our shared love for gaming. I'm going to try not to talk over it too much. To you, or watching online and chat with you, could be your next guildmate, teammate, or lifelong friend. We all have this in common. I've always felt Blizzard brings players together a little differently. Our players have made connections that span continents, languages, and generations. His voice is too low for me? Okay, here. We all have that one story. I'll give you guys some more decibels. That incredible play of the game. How's that? That clutch card draw. Or that raid encounter that your guild barely survived. I know. Uh, Commence laughter. Too. Applause. I know many of us have friends we've met in one of our games. A friend who began just as someone we hung out with in game. Better? But okay. But who was there cool. for us to celebrate our real life wins or to support us during a difficult time. <laughs> That's certainly been true for me. Thanks to my experience playing Blizzard games over the last 25 years, I've met most of my best friends from all over. And I'm, I'm, I'm so grateful that some of them are here today. Gus, Pika, Nick, Scoodles, and of course, Billy and Kaylee, who put up with my raid wipes all too often. I always know that no matter what is going on in real life, they will be there. No matter what game we're playing, these friends are a constant I can always rely on. You see, Mike, Mike understands. He, he agrees with me. BlizzCon truly is about all One of the most effective ways of player retention is making friends, you guys. I've said this before. He's just, he's, he's uh, wording it in a much more wholesome way than I. All of us, as players, as equals, as friends. As we bring these amazing experiences to more places, build technology that allows more gamers to experience our worlds and create characters and stories more players can relate to, the Blizzard community grows. And more importantly, our friendships grow. All of us are so grateful to be part of this community. And in everything we do, we are in service to you. We know we don't do everything perfectly. <coughs> 
It's Phil. Here comes Phil. Papa Phil's... Bobby Kotick. <laughs> Over the years, it's he and Bobby. I have played a bunch of games together. Please join me in welcoming my friend, our friend, the CEO of Microsoft Gaming, Phil Spencer. There he is. My God, that's Phil Spencer's music. Oh my God, there he is. As God is my witness, he is broken in half. Oops, sorry. Thank you, Mike. And hello, everybody, BlizzCon. This is my first BlizzCon ever. You will not get Nintendo, Phil, nor will you get from software. Just give up. You are the reason we make games. Your love for these games truly is inspiring. I recently have spent so much time playing Diablo 4 with my friends. Season 2 is awesome. And I can tell you that I can't wait for you to see what the team has planned for that game. It's going to be awesome. Blizzard occupies a special place in the gaming industry for me as well. Throughout Blizzard's history, they've pioneered you, and refined so much across the gaming industry. And many of you here today have been a part of that journey. Think of Diablo. Ah, uh, too much fluff. <laughs> It propelled the action RPG genre forward. StarCraft. Wow, that big for StarCraft, huh? It's a shame they don't have a StarCraft Spawned panel. the foundation of what esports would eventually become. And with StarCraft II, it was a major catalyst for the evolution of games as live entertainment. World of Warcraft. Woo! Changed not only how people developed and supported games, but really it introduced a much wider audience to the concept of online communities. And Overwatch. Not only reimagined gameplay, but also the representation possible in class-based shooters. Blizzard in Blizzard's influence is everywhere. And because of its enduring legacy... Wait, class-based shooters? Phenomenal revolutionary development. Hello, Team Fortress? Team Fortress? Craft. How dare you? Incredibly rare in this industry. The disrespect to TF2. Our at Xbox is to bring more great games to more players in more places. Feels just a casual. Blizzard I feel you guys. Xbox, he doesn't even know about Team Fortress we will 2. the essence of what has made Blizzard unique. He's a poser. He's a faker. You're We're not a true gamer. Thank you, thank you. In a culture of trust, inclusion, and collaboration to continue what they do best, redefining existing genres, creating new, never-before-seen experiences, and uniting players globally in new ways. In Azeroth, in Sanctuary, Thanks, in Near Future Earth, and beyond. I don't really want to pause, is the thing. I have a lot to say, but I don't want to pause. The teams at Blizzard to Xbox. I want to give and them I'm a, you know, give them their to say. Here to help welcome all of you to BlizzCon 2023. <laughs> Having seen what's in store for players, I can say the future of Blizzard is brighter than ever. And you all have so much to look forward to in this show. Classic Plus? Oh, it's Classic Plus confirmed. Phil knows. Look at the twinkle in his eyes, dude. It's Classic so Plus. So I'll get out of here, let you see the show. Thanks, yes, everyone, please show the video the games. And have a great time at BlizzCon. Thank you.
Chefs, man. Thank you for the prime, my main man. Yeah, it's Blizzca It's Classic Plus confirmed, you guys. I saw it right there. Phil knows. How about that? You know, part of what makes this such an exciting time for Blizzard is that we've never been more empowered, free, and dedicated to holding true to what makes Blizzard unique than mm. we are today. We mm. are accountable for creating this next chapter of Blizzard with all of you. We take this responsibility very seriously as we learn, grow, and get better every day. This is the start of a new era. So much more is possible, and you'll see some of that over the next couple days. Coming up, hell yeah, brother, from some new friends and some old friends. Uh oh. Uh oh. Classic plus. BlizzCon stage to show more about the games and the worlds we all love. No, that was a Chris Metzen reference, actually. Before I go, that was Chris Metzen's gonna, I want to take gonna a make moment to thank our Blizzard team. You... I think he was waiting for an applause there. The crowd's like, oh, we have to clap now? Oh, yeah, okay, let's all clap, yes. <laughs> A little late. Cl crowd was lagging on that one. Come on, guys. Up your game. You're supposed to clap. Please clap. Please you are clap. You some of the most talented individuals on the planet. And collectively, we are capable of building the most legendary universes in gaming. Our future, our creative Yeah, he's freedom, getting choked up. Our path forward is truly our own. And I know we all stand together with a singular goal to exceed player expectations and foster and support each other. Thank you for everything you do. Yeah. He's getting choked up. You can kind of see it in his eyes. BlizzCon. Many of the Blizzard team are here today. It does Anaheim, seem to mean quite a lot to him. To Mike actually, your time here. actually streams, by the we way, if you guys don't know. We all love talking to players, so please don't be shy. Come up and chat with us. Finally, on behalf of everyone at Blizzard, we want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart to our players, past, present, and future. Thank you for your passion and your honesty. And most importantly, thank you for being part of our communities. This is what BlizzCon is all about. Everything we do is for all of you. And it's an Same honor night. Thank you. to be a part of these worlds with you. Now, welcome to BlizzCon. Ooh, video time. Oh, we're gonna get emotional here, you guys. Can you feel the emotions running through you? The power of gaming, bringing people I together. To see if there was more out there. Oh, shit. I got my hand kerchiefs well, ready. For yourself. This is all Overwatch. Uh, Overwatch still? Yeah, this is all Overwatch. But always start with Overwatch. Come on, let's get some classic going, baby. Are these all like actual in-game cinematics? Oh, streamers. Oh god, are they gonna have my clip of me almost dying in ZF? They won't have one of me because I got a penis UI. Show me getting rank 14 in Classic. They better do the same thing with Classic and they better show my epic plays, okay? Wait, is it Overwatch 2 panel first? Wait, 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 wait. Please welcome Overwatch game director, ah, shit. Aaron Keller. Do you, do you guys want to watch Overwatch panel? 
I didn't realize there's an Overwatch panel. I don't really care about Overwatch. Ah, oh, shit. Hello, BlizzCon! <laughs> Ever since we first revealed Overwatch in 20. Yeah, no more Jeff. You have grown this universe into something truly unique and beautiful. Every single day, we see millions of players jumping into matches, forging new friendships, and showing off their skills. We launched Overwatch 2 last October, and it has been such an incredible year. Since <clears throat> then, you've been crushed by Diva's Mech over 26 million times. Had more than 79, 79 million lives saved by Baptiste, and played 65 years worth of prop hunt. I love prop hunt. I have not played Overwatch 2. The of there have Overwatch been thousands of Overwatch pornography videos released to the internet. We want our game to represent it's amazing. the community. From the release of our Samoa map to the our amount of pornography for this game is astounding. To our first Not that I, in Peruvian as people Euros, told me. Life Weaver and Alari. We also want Overwatch to recognize those focused on achievement and prowess and released our new progression system and the first set of Hero Mastery courses this year. And for those that just want something a little different, <laughs> we've run April Fools and released a dating sim, an actual dating sim, Lover Watch. Wait, what? Listening to your feedback is important to us. What the and hell are they talking about? it's driven the team about? to look at changes to some I'm of the so systems of the game. We've been hard at work on an overhaul of our competitive system. And we'll get into that a bit today and a bunch more over the course of BlizzCon. And there is so much more to come. We'd like to give you all a glimpse at as much as we're able to show you coming next year. <sighs> and boy, do we have some fun things to talk about. So let's get into it. Yeah, how many, um, how many of you guys in chat are I am honored interested in Overwatch? The director of Overwatch Dion Thank Rogers. you, Attitude. Um, apparently, this is still the opening ceremony. I did want to watch the opening ceremony. It looks like they kind of have like a little bit of each game here. We will probably skip the Overwatch panel, though. I don't really know much a lot about Overwatch, you guys, so it's hard for me to say. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit excited. The energy is awesome in here. You know, Aaron and I have been working on this universe since before Overwatch had a name. Working together Project Titan, with right? an incredible team back at Blizzard, many are with us today at BlizzCon. Creating such an incredible game with so many amazing people and seeing what it means to you all it's meant everything to us. And out of all the things we work on, one of our favorites is to create new heroes. Mm -mm. <laughs> new hero. You know, Overwatch is full of big personalities, and it takes a special individual to really stand out. And the team has been working hard to make sure no one could predict who this next hero is. <laughs> we haven't leaked any articles. We haven't leaked a spray or two. And we've left zero hints, especially not in our recent Samoa map. Now, who's ready to meet the newest hero? His name, Jesse McCree. Oh, uh, never mind. Sorry to keep you all waiting. But now that I'm here, let's have some fun. <laughs> yep, that's my name, all right. Mauga. He looks like a Dragon Ball Z character. And she can light up the whole dance floor. And this one's Cha Cha. He's a sensitive little fella, a real hothead. And when I fire him both, it's double trouble. <laughs> it's the uh, heavy. It's the heavy that's from Team Fortress 2, sort of. Gameplay footage. Gatling gun tank. I recognize this. I bought the orange box. Going so soon. Christ, some more. <laughs> Don't tell me that's it. Both hearts pumping. 
I got your back. For now. <laughs> Trap your enemies. Here I come. We got him where we want him. Hmm. Here we crowd control. Would you guys be interested in watching me play Overwatch? I am extremely skilled at FPS games, I assure you. But I'm not sure if I'd want to play Overwatch. Um, I'm more of a Battlefield guy, and the latest Battlefield, if you guys haven't heard, is complete ass, so I, I really haven't been in FPS mode. Pass? No, not really. Wow, this is a resounding no. You guys won't even spare my feelings, good god. That's awesome. I love that trailer. That's what I like about you, Chad, is you're honest. It's amazing to finally announce Malga. He was he was first introduced, you guys know, four years ago in a short story. TF2, and he's been the maybe. subject of a lot of fun theories. Ever since that first introduction, fans have been asking when he may become a playable hero. We're excited. We finally have our first Samoan hero. <laughs> No, they're pushing. They're pushing Overwatch 2 pretty hard here. The first game in the in the opening ceremony, bleh, opening Malga, ceremony. His name it means mountain in Samoan. That's pretty big. He portrays himself as this big, loud brute. <sighs> However, this is just a facade. He's a cunning tactician, always one step ahead of his enemies. One of the core goals whenever we make an Overwatch character is that people see themselves in our heroes. We're always striving for greater authenticity and representation with each hero. And with Malga, we got a lot of help, actually. <laughs> Even his tattoo was created by an amazing Samoan tattoo artist named C.E. Lupau. Malga is super fun. Thank you. Let's give a clap yeah, for Malga awesome. in chat. Malga is super fun to play. He's easy to learn, hard to master, with what I like to call a brutal but cunning play style. We hope you love him as much as we do. OK. <laughs> Thank you. OK. Join us later today for a Malga deep dive panel taking place here at the BlizzCon Arena and mm. online for people at home. We'll talk with the team that helped create I want Malga a deep dive with Malga. And also how to best utilize his amazing abilities when he joins Overwatch in we... Season 8. Finally, we know Malga's going to be pretty awesome when he joins competitive play. But before then, some of the best players in the world are competing in this weekend's Overwatch World Cup. Let's check it out. I, no offense to any Overwatch Legacy. viewers, but I probably will not watch Legacy the Overwatch panel. I'm not too interested in Overwatch personally. I don't really have too much to say about it. I like I liked Overwatch 1, but I have not played 2. And I, only, I like the launch of Overwatch 1, I should say. I kind of stopped Overwatch 1 a few months after. Wait, are they doing esports for Overwatch again? They've overcome defeat. And all along, the hopes of their fans have lifted them up. Absolutely beautiful. And now, at long last, the Overwatch World Wait, Cup F, why are we effing? Are here. Oh, F and chat for the game. And for the first time in four years, I honestly can't say I've not, uh, I've not touched Overwatch. I've never downloaded where it. Where it all began. Each team the league was can nuked. see their name on the championship trophy. Overwatch Community World 2 World Cup him, at BlizzCon. And the wait is finally over. I miss you the Overwatch World Cup Finals start now. Okay. They are doing esports for it then. Okay. Now, I, mean, I feel like I'm such a slowpoke with this. I've not paid any attention to uh, Overwatch. Please you guys, welcome Overwatch esports host. You guys aren't going to find Zoe any Schmidt. compelling Overwatch content from your boy, unfortunately. Um, let me look at the schedule. Wow. This is a lot Fantastic of Overwatch. to see all those memories on the big screen. And we're here to make some more. What's up, BlizzCon? <laughs> is this an Overwatch it's panel? It's so great to be back here after four years with the Overwatch World Cup. This event has always been such a special event because it truly serves as a worldwide tribute to the beautiful and diverse Overwatch community. This weekend, we get to celebrate teams and players from around the world, each with their unique takes on the play styles, their different personalities. We're going to see different metas emerge even. It's just very exciting to see familiar faces. Oops, big I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. In the competitive Overwatch scene. Ah, shit, I'm sorry. 
I just want to look at the schedule. Super, Gushue and the likes. But each year, we also get to witness new players emerging onto the scene, taking the spotlight. Here. It truly is a special event for a special community, and I'm very honored and truly happy to be part of it all. Oh, this now, is opening ahead, ceremony here, still. Nana, it's just Overwatch for the opening ceremony. Is joining us from all over the world. Interesting, they're starting off with Overwatch. Players. I did not Among anticipate them, this. I thought it'd be wow for three sure. Time World Cup champions, Team South Korea, and the only team that managed thus far to stop their reign, and that is the United States of America. Hell yeah, brother. 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms and put them into battle passes. We will not relinquish them. Do you understand? If you watch the first Jelly game Stingers, today, thank you so much. competition ahead for Team USA. And if you want to find out if one of our former champions will remain victorious or if one of the other six teams will seize their inaugural season title, make sure to join us. Not only will you be treated to fantastic gameplay, of course, no, you will also earn special drops all weekend long on the Player Watch Twitch channel. Now, we have a lot of amazing Overwatch <laughs> 2 action on the horizon and so much to play for for our teams. We got over $500,000 on the line and counting oh shit. placed directly by all I, of you. Our I have some questions as to who's funding fans. this prize pool. Do we have some uh, toy yeah, shenanigans? Do we have some crowdfunding for this? Uh, now, for are they going to are the, the are the fans going to help with this prize but pool, do you guys think? This year each and every single know. player out of the 43 teams participating. You guys interested in toys? A share. And this is unprecedented in Overwatch esports history and it would not be possible without all of you. So once again, thank you so so much. So, tomorrow night, we will be crowning the 2023 Overwatch World Cup champions. And you can catch all the, match, all the matches and all the action live in Hall B, as well as, of course, on stream. I'm going to be there. I'm looking forward to seeing some of you as well. And now, please welcome back Aaron with a few more things to share on the game side. No, I'm, I'm not much Thank of an Overwatch story. fan, but I'm... Uh, I hope for any Overwatch fans out there that the this World is. Cup matches all weekend will be so much fun. But Overwatch has another exciting thing for you guys and everything. Blizzcon. Earlier this week, we launched a new limited time game. I just want to get to the WoW stuff, though, honestly. And Wait, what the fuck is this? Is part of an exciting collaboration with La Seraphim, one of the biggest K-pop groups in the world. K-pop. Everyone can jump in game right now what? to take part, as well as check out their brand new music video. What is happening? I, where's Classic and Plus? I was told Classic Plus. Will take the stage Why are we talking about K-pop? Oh my tomorrow, god. After the community night ends, around oh. 6 p.m. Pacific. I'm gonna have a heart attack. Working on partnerships like this, or what we did with One Punch Man earlier this year, what? are One Punch incredibly Man. fun, yes. They provide us, both the dev team and you, the players, a chance to experience some of our favorite universes and artists through the unique style of Overwatch. I feel like I'm having a fever year, dream. We have even more of these for you all to geek out about. Sadly, we can't reveal what those are all just yet, but maybe there are some other things coming in 2024 that we could give you a hint about. <laughs> the Overwatch team has never had such clarity of vision when it comes to the future. From direct feedback, we hear what you love and want us to focus on. So, who wants to see a few of the things we're working on for next year? I, I'd prefer classic, Aaron, but I suppose if you're going to talk about it anyway. EP game mode, Clash. In this new competitive mode, there are five mm. points positioned in a row. The center point starts as the first objective, and the teams battle back and forth over the map, pushing into enemy territory or defending their own. Once a team captures all five points, it's like a tug of war mode. Maximum score, they win. Tug of war game mode. I Our think uh, Battlefield had this. Is a tribute to a location I forgot what they called it. We showed at Overwatch's first BlizzCon. It was in BF1. And it's one of my personal favorites. They say cherry blossoms. 
are a sign of rebirth and rejuvenation. And in 2024, a rebirth of one of the original Overwatch maps is in order. With, yes. Within the Clash mode, we are returning to the home of the Shimada clan with the new Hanamura map, Hanaoka. Additionally, we are working on overhauls to some of our most important in-game systems. Overwatch is a highly competitive game, and in early 2024, we'll release a reworked version of our competitive system with all new competitive rewards. <laughs> and with seasons, one of the team's goals has been to create themes I have no that idea what any of this means, so you guys. Many of the cool and awesome <laughs> things that we all love. Is that a Next butt year, I see back there? Experience Eldritch Horror, oh no, it's just uh, Egyptian mythology, Maori's abs. Witches, and even a mirror universe where heroes become villains and villains become heroes. And of course, it looks Overwatch like a tushy. Like, it looks like a tushy in the background. It's, heroes. it's just his abs. Malga is the 39th hero in Overwatch, and in 2024, we'll be releasing three more, and we want to give you a glimpse of two of them. A new damage hero venture is coming in season 10, and a support currently codenamed Space Ranger in season 12. And this is just scratching the surface of everything we have in the works. Join us tomorrow here and online, where we go in depth on all of this in our What's Next panel. It will have more information on Clash, the reworked mm -hmm. competitive system, a closer look at Space Ranger, even early gameplay footage of Venture, and so much more. And lastly, for the first time ever during a BlizzCon, not only is our next hero play playable in the Overwatch Hall here in Anaheim, but all of you at home can play Malga all weekend in game, including quick play, oh, shit. going live right after the BlizzCon opening ceremony concludes. Oh, damn. Yeah. Look at that crap, you guys. We know you'll Mauga. love them just as much as we do. Thank you all. We'll see you in game. And we'd like to announce Overwatch 3. We're ending support for Overwatch 2. And we're releasing Overwatch 3. You guys will get all the same heroes. You guys will get all the same maps. The cosmetics will carry over. And we'll have two tiers of battle passes. Dude, I am shaking so hard. Congratulations! The game is Where's the Mad Season stream? I didn't stream this game, so I'm not going to be in there. Oh, I'm pumped for Diablo 4. I think it's going to be the best. What if you guys play it right now? Hell yeah, really? Yeah. I will cry. That would be amazing. Didn't, didn't the, some awesome. people um, get a tattoo to get beta for Diablo? Oh God, so pretty. I think that was a thing. Like, you could get a tattoo of Diablo 2, 3. And some you crazy really people out there, uh, if you, you wanted to, you could have gotten a tattoo really of Diablo Immortal. The Diablo Immortal logo. She Imagine the like fucking me. Chad out there who got a tattoo of Diablo Immortal for beta access to Diablo 4. I'd love to shake his hand. Oh my god, the butcher. <laughs> oh, that was Tim the Tat Man. I recognize that one. Oh, that's uh, Shroud. Instantly died. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. There are literally like goosebumps. Go down a bit more, go down a bit more, go down a bit more. You got her! Yes! Let's go! I imagine we're getting a Diablo panel next. Shit, are they really gonna save Wild for last? God damn it. Will you fight the darkness? Break the chain. And be beautiful in sin. Hell, Ella. Blessed Mother. I will say, I, I know that Diablo 4 has kind of had its issues. But I do think that the cinematics are rather good. I I think uh, the announcement cinematic of Diablo 4 is probably one Please of the greatest welcome. cinematics the ever. The general manager of Diablo, Rod Ferguson. Shit, we're going to have uh, another non-WoW one. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't really know much about Diablo as well, you guys. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, this isn't good. How's everybody doing? Having fun? Just 
feels amazing. I'm so glad you're here. And, and I'm so happy the people at home are here as well. You know, watching that, that was such a great reminder of what a fantastic community we have and what an exciting year it's been. Now, you might have missed it, but in there was a clip of a blind gamer, Tylenif, defeating our hardest boss, Uber Lilith. Now, we strive mm. to make Diablo as approachable and as accessible as possible, and watching clips like that make me and the team extremely proud. And of course, I love the tattoos. <laughs> you know, I still can't believe over a thousand people got permanent Diablo tattoos at our Hells Inc. events. Yeah, who got the immortal? Including me. And so, you know. Immortal. It's immortal. Necromain for life. Aw, oh, damn it. Come on, Rod. <laughs> Come on, Rod. Really? Lame. Let's get that Diablo immortal so, you know, tattoo, we baby. We talked a lot about the last BlizzCon four years ago. And, and back then, you know, the Diablo community was hungry. Hungry for even more experiences in that dark, gothic place caught between the high heavens and the burning hells, a little place we call Sanctuary. And in that time, I've been very fortunate to work with some of the best developers in the industry, people who love Diablo as much as the rest of us. And it was their passion and dedication to this universe that released a great new Diablo game every year for the last three years. Diablo II Resurrected brought the return of the classic that helped define the genre. Remastered. Gotta love Diablo 2. Hell yeah. So it was remastered for a new generation now for PC and Shout outs to David Brevik. And Diablo the father of Diablo. To mobile for the first time. It would be cool if he Bringing had an appearance here. Of new players into our universe. They said old friends, so he might be here. He might get David. He might get a Mr. Brevik appearance. In fact, appearance. you might not know this, but 60% of Diablo Immortal players have never played a Diablo game before. So we really welcome them to our universe. And then, of course, there's wait, Diablo they're talking 4. about Diablo Immortal? Now. <laughs> Damn it, I missed an opportunity to make fun of it. Shit. It was that kind of excitement that made it the biggest launch in Blizzard's history. And it means so much to the team to see how you've embraced it. You know, we've played over 1.5 billion hours together so far. And it's your love for the game that drives us. Thanks to you, we've made a lot of changes over the last five months. In fact, our patch notes for Season of Blood We've our nerfed second season everything. were over 14,000 words long because that is how much our community has influenced and will continue to influence the evolution of Sanctuary. And if you haven't yet made it, you know, made that leap into the darkest Diablo story ever told, now is the perfect time to pick your class, build your character, join Phil Spencer, <laughs> and see what the hell it's all mm. about. And with that, I'd like to introduce No, Diablo thank you. I'd rather play... Uh... Classic. They help lead the teams who are building everything we do today Personally. and everything moving forward. Please welcome I'd... Tiffany Watt and Chris Wilson. We'll watch this as well. I'm not, I, again, I haven't been playing Diablo, but I know we got some Diablo fans in chat here, so I want to play this for you guys. I probably will not be playing Thanks, Diablo Rod. 4, though. <laughs> hey, BlizzCon. The last time, <laughs> last time I was on stage, I was helping to announce Diablo 4. To be here today with all of you is so awesome. The launch was incredible. We're really excited to be here today to share what's coming next. But first, let's highlight some of the player feedback that's in Season of Blood today. So many of you have told us that you wanted more in-game activities. So we've given you a couple this season, one now and another coming early next month. So live now is our new boss ladder. This is a series of additional boss fights from level 55 to 100 that will also see the return of our kind of gross but farmable boss and rewarding friend Duriel, uh, who you can go after for uber uniques that everybody's been, you know, saw, uh, sieging for. And with those new bosses dropping both uniques and uber uniques at a much higher rate and even dropping some special cosmetics, you're going to want to make your way to level 100 so you can fight them all. So in the Season of Blood, we've rebalanced the end game, letting you get to level 100 about 40% mm. faster than in Season 1. I, I hear that this has been a big, uh, actually, complaint about the game, is that it I takes know, too I long to level per season, so... Boost, I have again, I have no reference, because I have not played Diablo 4, course, but it seems like is about they're trying to address it here. Faster so leveling. We've also changed how item power works. We've raised the power cap, and it's now more closely tied to the Is that a W in your guys' minds? The more challenging the fight, W or L, loot. faster leveling. There's still lots of work to be done with reworking itemization. In fact, it's one of our highest priorities. But this, along with upgrades to some of our unique items, is a great first step. So please keep that feedback coming. 
Now let's talk about quality of life. Here's a few improvements that came directly from you. All of your renown rewards now carry over season to season and from the eternal realm. <laughs> Additional character slots. Okay. We added two this season, so you can create even more characters and try different builds. So, so less stuff to do between A seasons. Dummy has been added to Kiovashad as you can test, so you can test those builds before you run into the butcher. Targeting good dummies should be in classic well. Searching and filtering your stash is now possible. I and said it. Your stash is now available. They in should add it. some changes. Cla targeting dummy in classic wow, okay? Feel free to threaten to murder my family, but often, I feel so it's a good change. Almost twice as often. <laughs> and we've also freed up some inventory space by making gems a crafting material to make even more room for those uber units. Those are just a few of the new additions already in the game, but we're not done with Season of Blood yet. In fact, starting next week, we'll introduce five unique class-specific rings that will let you relive some of the fun from Season of the Malignant. That's right, Necromancers. Once again, corpses will automatically be yeah, bidding. Yeah, practice dummies. I'm sorry. I said presence. targeting dummies. I meant practice dummies. <laughs> then on December 5th, we'll also be adding an enchanting preview to the occultist. So this will allow you to see which affixes are possible before you spend your hard-earned gold. It's just another way to give you even more control over making just the right build for the challenge at hand. Also on December 5th, this as promised, we'll have another exciting new, in new end game activity. A six-week event called I wanna, Avatar. I want to say something. It's a highly replayable pinnacle experience. But I don't want to talk over them. Who have reached level 100, slain Uber Durial, and, and I don't want to pause because that'll that season of blood has to offer. That'll delay the time we get to Those WoW. Who survive Thank you, editors. Will attain a paragon glyph constructed of the vampire lord's very own blood. But beware, Abattoir of Zir starts difficult. Okay, I'm gonna pause it. briefly. Okay, the this is these are all like great changes. I don't really have a uh, a reference point because I've not played Diablo four. Um, the crowd seems to be into it, but this is the issue with modern gaming here. If all of this shit was just in the game at fucking launch. How many people would still be playing Diablo 4 right now? Delay. I know it's not as simple as this, and you have pressure from publishers. Shoutouts to the Activision acquisition, by the way. But just give it more time. Give it more time in the oven. Delay it six months. People will fucking wait for it if it's going to be better. Release the game with all this shit like it should have in the beginning, and it does so much better. It does so much better in the long run, I swear. Only That's what I wanted to say. And of course, as we near the end of Season of Blood, it'll be holiday time. Not only here, but in Sanctuary as well. Our first ever holiday event, Midwinter Also Blight, as well, start another complaint here, a side effect of betas and alphas being promotional advertising vehicles now. I feel like betas and alphas are hardly ever even used for feedback. They're just used to stress servers and basically as advertising vehicles. And that's another reason why... You know, people are saying this this stuff um, long before the game actually releases, but they're not actually listening to feedback. This isn't just Blizzard. This is the gaming industry as a whole. Uh, other MMOs, New World, had a, a shit ton of feedback that should have been into the game at release, but it's just like, okay, we have this window. We got to hit this window at all costs, even if the game is unfinished, even if we only retain the players for like one month. It's uh, it's short-sighted. It's on December 12th. It's short-sighted. The definition of short-sighted. For, for three weeks, we're going to transform the Fractured Peaks into a winter terror land, and it'll bring a whole new meaning to the word sleigh ride. Yeah. And be sure to keep your eyes peeled for a mysterious red-cloaked terror. Nothing is what does the player base know? Yeah, puns, the players don't know shit, sure of course. Why, why trust there, the players of your video game? We can't go into too no, if the players aren't now, having fun, there's something wrong with so the players, important. you guys. Let's talk about leaderboards. We're creating a whole new type of weekly challenge dungeon called the Gauntlet, where the Heroes of Sanctuary can come Okay, leaderboards. I'm going to kind of skip ahead a little friends, bit here if I feel clan, fluff. Or the, anyone in the world. Watch out, Mikey Barra. I am coming for you. At the end of each week... The heroes with the highest rank will be added to the Seasonal Hall of Ancients, where their name and build will live on. 
So, okay. So they're taking a quick look at where we are today. I didn't even know that and leaderboards weren't in Diablo 4. I would have right because they were in Diablo 3, Diablo I would have expected they would have been already in it. So leaderboards are like teaser. one of the main reasons for Diablo 3. That's surprising. There's no leaderboards currently in Diablo it's 4. Super early. But as we look to expand on the story we started in Diablo 4, Okay, I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. Okay, let's do the cinematic. We have each we'll watch this together. To what has happened here. Is this an expansion? Or a season trailer? To this child. I'm telling you guys that with every step she takes, I grow. Cinematics are always good. Despite what you say about the game, the cinematics are good. No salvation in the light. An expansion? Vessel of Hatred? Well, that was a pretty basic cinematic, but... Late 2024. Interesting. Already announcing an expansion. Vessel of Hatred is Diablo 4's first expansion. Wait, where's the applause? Okay, there you go. Yeah, they definitely have to have an applause sign. Its campaign will continue the dark tale that began in Diablo 4 as That's we learn the fate of the prime evil Mephisto and his demonic plans for Sanctuary. To do that, we'll be visiting a region new to Diablo 4 and a fan favorite from Diablo 2. The lush jungles known to outsiders as Torajan, but known by the locals as Nahantu. Hmm. With this new story set in a mysterious new region, comes new ways to play, new evils to vanquish, and, of course, a completely new class never seen before in the Diablo universe. A new class. Never before seen. Wow. So that, that'll be six, right? Six classes total? Year, and we cannot wait to share more about it this summer. I feel like now, five was very leave, small for Diablo, you know the amount of classes that, that launched. That drives us. It's not enough. Your feedback will continue to help us evolve and improve the Diablo 4 experience for years to come. We couldn't be more excited about our future, and we hope that you are too. Our team has put in a lot of hard work, and we love seeing your love for this game. So please join us tomorrow. Uh, we have a special Diablo 4 campfire panel. Okay. Where we'll be sharing more details about the expansion, a uh, deeper dive on some of the upcoming game changes, and we'll also have a special Q&A session to close it out. So enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you, and we'll see you in Sanctuary. Okay. So we won't be doing that personally. I'm not much into Diablo. Let's skip ahead here. Uh oh, okay. Wow time, baby. Let's go. Please, please start with classic. Please, uh, please, please start with classic. Classic plus. You are not prepared. For level boosts and wow tokens. Letters, go buy World of Warcraft, install it on your computer, and oh, nice. an online sensation before we all murder you. All right, all right then. <laughs> that was pretty cool. I didn't expect South Park. Welcome to the world of Warcraft. That was um I'm with him Shatner, and I'm a shaman. Oh my god, you guys remember those commercials? And this is my night elf Mohawk. Shut up, fool! That's some 2008 gaming right there. I had this in my video. Oh my god. I didn't have that. There, I had that. I had a... Uh... I forgot what I was going to say. That was fire. They, I, I felt they should have done the Vern Troyer though. The, the Vern Troyer commercial. Rest in peace, Vern. Mr. Troyer. Yeah, I had that in my video, you guys. They took it from my video. It was in a Mad Season video. Please welcome the general manager of Warcraft, John Height. Oh, snap. Some of your favorite flavors is vanilla. And thank you. 
And we are ready to work. They're gonna start with Dragonflight Anybody for here sure. For Warcraft today? Yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Big here shout we out go. to the Warcraft teams. They are so happy to be here today. The main we events, have so you much guys. Cool stuff to show you. So give it up for my Warcraft teams. Hell yeah. Where's the one guy in classic? Where is that one guy on classic? Hell yeah, you Can keep you on keeping on, buddy. Years ago, a dispute between orcs and humans led to one of the longest running fantasy adventures in video game history. Right? Generations of players have called Azeroth home. Teenagers that first played Warcraft. I was going to make us. I know you're out there. Oh, God, he's going to start off by making us feel old. Oh, no, please, John Height. Are now parents. Oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ, John, right. please. Please. Raising new heroes. Depression. On the raids oh. and battlegrounds. No, depression. This timeless adventure. Aging is not fun. Oh, God. I'm not as young as it's I used to be. It's shared stories of Azeroth, both in-game and out, that make up this universe. Today is a great day for Warcraft. Maybe. If it's just Cataclysm Classic, I, I'm sorry, John, I'm going to have to disagree. This is the beginning of a bold new chapter that will take us through the next three decades and beyond. Oh, yeah. Wait, what? With a variety of games to entertain three you, decades. we welcome everyone to find your community. <laughs> Oh, screw that. Screw that crap. Okay, For Alliance. the Alliance. There we go. For the Alliance. Just, Greetings. Just practice. We're going to give you a chance well to be a little louder later. <laughs> Throughout... <laughs> Throughout the taverns of Azeroth, tall tales of adventure are retold through the whimsical and clever card Yeah, 30 more years. What did that mean? Oh, shit, you guys. Yeah. Three decades. They're going to cover the next three decades? I like to imagine humans and orcs getting together, showing off their collections, and boasting of their deeds. Hearthstone should be but in the World of Warcraft. Of those same taverns, they're playing a new game. Wait, we're, this is, we're doing Warcraft Hearthstone? Warcraft Rumble. Yeah. Oh, my God, John. <laughs> How dare you? Me, too. But this is a mobile game. Oh, you're triggering me. In the palm of your hand. And finally... Okay, there, there we go, there we go. Saving the best for last. John Height, you're such a tease. Wow, Bamboozling me. Into Azeroth, where we are the champions, fighting alongside each other in shared adventure. Almost 20 years ago, while wow, revolutionized online communities and reimagined <laughs> the enduring entertainment of massively multiplayer gaming. He certainly did. Certainly the very did. first BlizzCon. He's absolutely was right about that. Our first expansion. So it's only mm -hmm. fitting that we're here today to lay the foundation for WoW's future. Hell yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> it did revolutionize the MMORPG genre. He's right. Azeroth is a home we can always escape to. A home that is always waiting for us. Together, we build this universe. Our teams craft the worlds and the adventures, but it is all of you who bring it to life. You are the heartbeat of the brand new adventures that are about to unfold. From all of us on the Warcraft teams here at Blizzard Entertainment, thank you. You're welcome, John. Now, please give me Classic Plus. Wait, what's please this? Please welcome, from Hearthstone, oh, God damn it. Cora Georgiou. Oh. It's Hearthstone, you guys. It's Hearthstone. Ah, oh, shit. They're, they're baiting us again. Ah, oh, you're such a tease, John. Space Owlbear, thank you. Hearthstone's 10th anniversary. Oh, God. I know. I'm getting old. It's a decade of telling tales around Azeroth with all of you. Whether you aspire to climb the ladder to legend, 
Enjoy brawling with I maintain to this day, Hearthstone should have been, it wouldn't have generated money. It should have been a, a game that you start in WoW. There should be a, a Hearthstone card game that you click on WoW. You collect all the cards in game from looting them from raid bosses, getting them from achievements, looting them from dungeon bosses, crafting them. It should be a mini game in WoW. It would be amazing. You actually collect the cards instead of paying real money for them. But it would earn far less money, so, it's, so that would never happen. But it would be way cooler. Then. Okay. So let's talk about it would be way cooler. Right Imagine killing Anixia, getting an Anixia card, and adding it to your Hearthstone deck and dominating people. In Hearthstone's upcoming expansion, Showdown in the Badlands, which Ooh, takes shit. place in Azeroth's Wild West. Are they gonna have? Uh, are they gonna have the wandering ogres, whom kill, almost killed the guy who I saved? By the way, you guys. An outlaw, and a lone ranger. Though they may not know it now. Broken tooth. They better together, have broken tooth. They are destined for a grand adventure. I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit till it starts. Trying my best to do some good out there. But it didn't take long to realize that. Is it the, the McCree right voice actor? Or am I. Uh, everything would change. Uh, Step aside. What have they changed his name to? The new, the new uh, McCree. You don't know who you're Lord Sharksmear. Thank you for the prime, my main man. They knew the townsfolk were up to something sinister. Let's move! The um the voice was like a powder keg waiting to explode. I don't talk over this. We did it! No. Oh nuts. As it turned out, I had the right backup waiting for me. The Ford Just ad guy. <laughs> Let's be a Ford tough. You got it, partner. I didn't intentionally pursue leadership. I'm gonna punch ya! Feldra and the Lost. Yeah, Trogs, where's Broken Tooth? If you don't have Broken Tooth, I'm going to be outraged. What the hell are these enemies? We know the Lone Ranger. Where is Broken Tooth? Mmm, disappoint. That's the most iconic mob in Badlands, is Broken Tooth, you guys. All the hunters in chat are outraged right now. That's right. Our beloved Reno Jackson and Elise Starseeker are getting an origin tale. They'll work together to save the Badlands from hey, the Bloodrock Town's nefarious mining operation. Singleton decks are returning. I don't know what that With is, like but hell yeah, man. Singleton decks, Ranger, I'm all about it. Hearthstone's first ever neutral hero card. We'll talk more about him guys. in the What's Next panel later today, where we'll also be revealing a mother load of exciting new cards. This is clearly a hint at Classic Plus. You had it exactly more. right. When Showdown in the Badlands releases... Clearly, Badlands, Zone in Vanilla WoW. It's, this is Classic Plus confirmed as far as I'm concerned. Now, I know you may be thinking, a new expansion. That's a lot of new cards on top of five sets that are already in the standard rotation. Mm -hmm. And you have like 27 fucking expansions in Hearthstone. It's too break, much. That can be it's, a little overwhelming. Yeah, it's very overwhelming. You're exactly so right. Hard at work to You're make telling it easier me. Easier than ever to join us. We're excited to announce ketchup packs. Ooh, ketchup. These are game-changing for getting your collection caught up. You see what we did there? Instead of the typical five cards you'd find in a regular Hearthstone card pack, you can get up to 50 cards from a single ketchup pack. Mmm, one ketchup packet, 50 cards? Oh my god. The cards you receive will all be from within the last two years, ready to play and What does the mustard packet give you? 
all of our players yeah, are it. going to get ketchup packs to open once It sounds like a condiment, so I'm kind of, of referencing the condiment. In person, or those of you at home who purchased either BlizzCon collection, we're also gifting you a few more packs. This is uh, what they call the foot in the door strategy, if you guys aren't aware of this. They get you started, and that's how they get you hooked. You start off by buying Hearthstone cards, and all of a sudden you're in a, a back alley and injecting needles in every orifice. Don't do it, you guys. Hearthstone. Not even once. Okay? Not even once. All right. I feel like we might have some Battlegrounds fans out here. Before you know it, you're injecting ketchup directly into so your you veins. Might remember then that the last time we were all together at BlizzCon, we unveiled Battlegrounds. What started as an experiment? Battlegrounds. Oh my god, that's in this is classic plus confirmed. The There's new Battlegrounds. The it's called Hearthstone. But playing together is what inspired the new mode. We're debuting here today. Queuing up as a party for a lobby is great, but ultimately, you play against each other. What if you could actually play teamed up alongside each other? <laughs> Sounds fun, doesn't it? Actually, I had this idea back when I was into We're Hearthstone. Team Hearthstone. A truly cooperative, a cooperative mode, play. yeah. Like two versus Bad two. Duos. Duos. I had this idea 10 years ago, okay? They're copy they're copying me. With a shared health pool, team combat, and sending cards back and forth between teammates. Now you can fight with your friends instead of against them. That kind of sounds interesting. Is it PVP? Creativity, or is it PvE only? To team up and help each other achieve top 4. So now we're setting an official table for you and your partner to take the crown together. I felt like that would always be Those interesting. In person, grab a friend team based or make PvP one, in Hearthstone. You can try Battlegrounds duos here at BlizzCon right now at the Hearthstone demo area. That might, uh, there will always be a meta, right? But it might mix it up a little bit. We're planning to launch this new way to play for everyone early next year. And you can learn more later today and see the new heroes and minions that make teamwork so fun in Battlegrounds. I feel like if I was into Hearthstone, I'd be pretty excited about this, but I'm just not into Hearthstone. It's the dream work. We love teamwork. It's too expensive. If you're tuning in at home, please make sure to join us at the What's Next panel. And if you're here with us at BlizzCon, you can also join me. There's just too many expansions in Hearthstone. In the tavern. It's so expensive. It's like the most expensive there, free game I've ever played in my entire life. The team. Or if you want to catch up after four years away. Walter says it's neat. It, I think it, I've been looking at we'll chat. This is tavern. resonating with Hearthstone fans. I'm happy for you guys. They're going to save Classic for last, aren't they? Just to troll the Monotone Madness. Oh, this is Rumble. This is Rumble. Oh, shit. Uh, 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 urge to complain about microtransactions rising. Uh, are they going to have the icon as like some character screaming like every other mobile game ever? You guys know what I'm talking about? Ah, shit. No, my favorite IP. Please do not do this to my favorite IP. Oh god, no, please. Why do you torture me so? Oh no. Why, why are you cutifying Anixia? Oh no. My heart hurts. My heart hurts. Anixia is not cute, okay? She doles out 50 DKP minuses. Oh Jesus. You're watching my childhood getting raped right in front of you in 1080p, you guys. Oh god. No. This is like Final Fantasy X-2 all over again.
The thing is though, you guys can make fun of this all you want. This will print money. This will generate an insane amount of money. And that's why they're doing it. Just like Immortal. Please welcome from Warcraft Rumble, executive Just producer, like Immortal. This will print money. Guaranteed. So financially it's the play. Just my heart hurts. <laughs> you gotta love Anixia. She didn't even use deep breath there. <laughs> Hello, BlizzCon! Last year, the team and I announced we were working on a brand Should new Should I force Warcraft you guys to watch this? Game. A way to bring Warcraft with you wherever you are. Oh, shit. Wherever you oh, go. Oh, God. Uh, 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 it doesn't go further than this. Undead. I'm sorry. My heart just can't take this. My personal favorite, Blackrock. You'll battle your way through maps inspired by I'm actually curious to see the gameplay because I have no idea what it is. You'll fight to control resources, capture towers. <laughs> this is live now. Defeat the boss or player at the other end. Speaking of bosses, each one has their own unique mechanics. So you'll have to adapt your strategies to the threats you'll face as you battle through the campaign and beyond. Sometimes you'll have to use Our debit cards was to give you everything you because your credit card is maxed out. That's my strategy. With a big dose of what our team calls joyful chaos. When we set out to make this game, we wanted to offer a variety of challenges no matter how you choose to play it, whether it's for five minutes at a time or hours on end. And that was something we especially focused on during the beta to make sure you have something fun to do every time you open up the game. And for those of you that played the beta and gave us your feedback, you guys are going to so much. You guys are going to hate me for this. Your support and the hard work of our team that we feel we got something really but really special on our hands. There is one type now, of mobile game that I do actually enjoy. The it's the Clash of Clans base building kind, and I felt like the Warcraft IP would be a good fit for that if it was like an actual game. You sell it for sixty dollars, and it's 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 based off of Warcraft, and not like cutesy stuff like this. It would have to be like cool and badass. But I do actually enjoy that type of mobile game. I've not played it because they're all pay to win. Oh Jesus Christ, Uther! What are you doing? What is going on? What is this? Oh, please stop! No, they're doing. Oh my God! Herod, what have you done to him? What are you doing to Stitches? No, leave Stitches alone. You leave Stitches out of this, you bastards. Oh my god. So it's kind of like a tower defense game, it seems to me. Oh, I'm outraged right now. I'm gonna lose sleep over this. Oh, they had Emperor Thorison. I saw that crap. Oh god. You know, I gotta admit, it's pretty cool watching that video and just thinking about it's not how pretty cool. How dare you? Last year. At this point, we just can't wait for all of you to hop in and play. And I mean, maybe I should become a Warcraft Rumble wait. streamer. That's why we've made Warcraft Rumble available to download and play right now oh shit oh let's get this phone started baby warcraft rumble stream you guys have this phones right such a huge moment for us and we're so all excited I'm gonna to download it right us. now play store and for those of you in the audience with me today i'm on my phone right let's now let's bring down the wi-fi together warcraft rumble where do you insert your credit card you know i'm kidding right please don't bring down the wi-fi <laughs> I'm in a where lot do of you where do you here. insert it <laughs> Whether you're a veteran of Azeroth or just have a deep love for strategy games, there's a lot to enjoy here. We've got a huge campaign with over 70 bosses. And for those of you looking for an especially unique challenge, we even have a heroic campaign with an extra layer of difficulty that we've hooked up our Wait, is this, is this this PV? This has to be PVP too, right? <laughs> we've got maps with verticality, capture points, resources, traps, and all kinds of other contraptions. <laughs> Each map was lovingly handcrafted by our team and is its own unique puzzle. 
But how you choose to solve that puzzle is completely up to you. Visa or Mastercard? MasterCard. We've got you covered there as well. What is your Dungeons choice, you guys? Warcraft or PayPal? Are intense or cashier's check? Through places like Normagon and the Dead Mines, where you equip your armies with game-changing relics until your run is over. <laughs> or jump into PvP and dunk, duke it out with uh, other players on maps inspired by some of the most legendary maps and battlegrounds found in World of Warcraft. You can even join a guild and work together with your friends towards some super special shared rewards. I can only say... <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's just what we have in the game right now. We have so much more coming. I wonder if... Um, starters, we're going to be releasing a new mini... You guys think Wyatt each season. is going to make an appearance? And that also starts... I actually felt right really, now. really bad for Wyatt Chang. We're, we're, of course, talking about the Diablo Immortal announcement. Season one. They a totally Warcraft fed his ass to the wolves. Live. And the latest addition to our growing roster of minis is none other than the Banshee Queen herself, Sylvanas. Oh god, we can't even escape Sylvanas in a fucking mobile game? Good lord. Get out oh, of so here, you already ruined the BFA. Play with or against your friends. Oh, Jesus. And that includes the biggest challenge in all of Rumble, raids. Make sure to join our Warcraft No one understands my master plans. Not even the game developers. <laughs> now, BlizzCon, before I go, I just wanted to let you know, the team and I, many of whom are here in Anaheim with us right now, we love playing strategy games. And we set out to make a game that harkens back to our RTS roots, where Warcraft began <laughs> almost 30 years ago. It is really made out of a genuine love for Warcraft by people with deep roots in the universe. And they really are saving no matter how you like the best play, for last. There's something for everyone to love in Warcraft Rumble. What if what if it's not even classic? Thank you so much, BlizzCon. Enjoy what if the it's chaos just retail? We'll see you in game. What if it's just Dragonflight? Which, no offense to anybody who likes Dragonflight, but I, as you guys know, I'm not a Please Dragonflight welcome. player. Executive producer, World of Warcraft. Oh, Holly. Holly. Okay, Holly. this is classic. Holly's classic, right? Holly's classic. Holly Longdale is classic. Wow. What's up, BlizzCon? <laughs> Holly Longdale is classic, I believe. Oh, I'm so excited to see you all here. This is fantastic. Well, classic can you plus. believe we've been playing World of Warcraft for almost Let's skip the fluff, years? Holly. Let's just get into classic <laughs> plus here, okay? You know, 2004 was a while ago, right? You know, some of us, we wait. Wait, why do they keep making us feel old? Stop it. <laughs> got our discs. Yeah. <laughs> hey, guys, we're all we old and aging. Life is temporary. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Across nearly two decades, players all over the world have taken part in the stories of Jaina. Sylvanas, Arthas. <laughs> yeah, there we go, my boy, my boy Arthas. Arthas did nothing and of wrong. Course, so many others. Arthas and did nothing wrong. The entire the city had to be purged. We sailed off in absolutely North right. And we watched Sargeras stab the world with that sword. <laughs> During that time, gaming has changed. And you have changed, and so have we, particularly in the past year. The entire team across both modern and classic have embraced their communities. We are truly listening to your voices and taking action. False, Holly. You did not watch the Ballad I of the Level Boost. I, I nerd raged time. about it for an hour, and I said WoW tokens were coming, and they came, Holly. Oh, and no. Why we all fell in love with World They only listen to the feedback the where it's place. like, no, every all paid microtransactions are great and it's awesome. <laughs> you lie, Holly. With that in mind, let's get to it. As many of you know, WoW Classic was born out of the community's passion. <laughs> Hell yeah, baby. And of course, most of you know that still drives us today. Like just in August, inspired by our community. Hell yeah. We released Classic. And this is a big W for Blizzard, by the way. 
Hardcore has been, aside from server issues, it's been great. So, uh, in Hardcore, you only get one life. And if you die, you may laugh, you may cry, you may mm. have to replace a keyboard. Uh, mm. But you go again. <laughs> We've loved watching you take on the challenge or die. Don't right. remind me. Uh, and because the hardcore community has asked, the team is planning to add a new way to play hardcore early Solo next year. Solo self found. Here it comes. Solo self found. <laughs> More restrictions. And last month in Wrath Classic, we released the fall of the Legend. Uh, boo. <laughs> boo. <laughs> Level boost, swap tokens, boo. And while boo. there's still more to come in Wrath, boo. earlier this year, we looked at your no, feedback I'm happy for Wrath fans. to think about where are we going to go next. Cataclysm. <laughs> we read through Here it is. This is classic plus for cataclysm right here. On social media forums, and we sent out surveys. Oh, shit. Here and it comes, here, you guys. At BlizzCon, we're happy to announce Cataclysm. Uh, uh, and oh. it's coming with hashtag changes uh, oh. based on your feedback, oh God. just like you'd expect from class. Uh. So now, let's jump into the way back machine I'm okay. and get a reminder of all things Cataclysm. Shit. Shit. Oh no. Well, maybe it's both. Okay, maybe it's Cataclysm and Classic Plus. Ooh, a, a cinematic. Oh, a cinematic. This is a, uh, a machinima, obviously. Oh no. No, I am happy for Cataclysm fans. We do have some Cataclysm fans in chat. I'm happy for you guys. I will not be playing Cataclysm Classic. Most likely, I mean, we'll see what happens here, but... They said there are going to be some changes, but I'm not, uh... I did not enjoy Cla Cataclysm, but I hope that you guys enjoyed it if you are playing it. I'm going to try to hold off on my tribalism for this stream for a moment. I said catac I said cataclysm though, you guys. It's the safe route. I totally called it. I totally called it. You guys have to give me props for that. It could still be classic plus though. I said cataclysm classic and classic plus. And the uh, solo cell phone. Oh, is this Hurricane? The uh, YouTube channel? I, if it is, I hope I certainly hope they give them credit. One of the best machinima channels ever. You guys should watch him, Hurricane. If you haven't watched him yet, binge his channel. Do yourselves a favor. Where is this? Under city? Where is that? Where are they fighting there? Oh, is that Tol Barad, maybe? Wait, where's the bridge dance on Tol Barad? If, if they're showing Tol Barad footage, this is incorrect. There should be like 10,000 people on the bridge trying to cheese the rewards by being in the zone when the battle ends. Hurricane? I, I don't know if that was Hurricane, but I hope they credit him. It seemed certainly like one of his cinematics. <laughs> Classic Bless, Holly, come on. Get ready, my friends, because the I love the passion, by the way. Uh, get ready, my friends, because the, the road to Deathwing's destruction is coming in the first half of next year. 
Mm, no, not a huge reception. Right. Now, Read the crowd, Holly. Over the past Read it. Of classic, we've watched you Even if you don't have any plans for it, just say Classic Plus. we've loved it. So much, in fact, that we thought we'd add some unique flavor with a seasonal note and a dash of discovery. A new season. Season of discovery is vanilla wow with a spicy twist. You're going to discover new secrets as you scour the world and find class-altering abilities. Ooh. <laughs> Balance. Class-altering abilities. Have you like to be a tanking warlock? <laughs> Demonology? Or take on the role of a mage healer. Demonology is a tank already. What are you talking about? Soul Link is in the game. You can. <laughs> uh, what is this? The season is going to launch with an initial level cap of 25. And when you hit that max level, you'll be met with a brand new level 25 endgame. You'll discover Ooh. a brand new 10 player Black Fathom Deeps raid with new and reimagined bosses, mechanics, and of course, a raid. rewards. Then, after DFD a couple raid. of months, we'll raise the level cap a bit. You'll find even more endgame content. Interesting. And so it will go. If you're here at BlizzCon, you can play the Black Fathom. It's very Deeps vague anymore. right now, though. <laughs> and people at BlizzCon can play the Black Fathom Deeps raid, they just said. So they're redoing so, Black BFD as a raid. If you love Classic or are just a little intrigued about what exactly a Warlock tank can do, go check it out. <laughs> Who's that person For screaming? For all of you watching online, don't worry. <laughs> you won't have to wait long to play. Because we want you to discover all of the secrets together, there will be no public testing. Wild Only for Classic streamers. Season of Discovery Main characters. In a few short weeks on November 30th. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. I will probably be playing this. It's, not, it's very vague right now. I don't know really what to make of it. They said a tanking the warlock. Cataclysm. Don't miss the classic panel this afternoon. No classic plus, you guys. All right. Now it's time to talk to my dragon riders. In oh, Mario. no. <laughs> Maybe they're saving classic plus until after Our dragon fight. We really want Azeroth to uh, be alive in the home you hopium want to come fading. back to, Where's no my matter tank? how you play. Where's my hopium tank? Our next major update, Guardians of the Dream, is going live in just five days. Okay. I do not play retail. I want to give a shout out to my elves. It is finally our time. <laughs> One week later, season three will start with the last raid of the expansion. Um, yourself, the dreams hope. There if you guys are just, final I'll give you a recap soon. Defend our new world tree. I don't want to interrupt not, Holly here. Oh shit! What happened? Not, Sorry, I hit a button by accident. Our time in the Dragon Isles. Sorry about that. There's a lot more to come in Dragonflight that will serve as both the epilogue of this story and the bridge to our next one. No, no like class. I, I earlier, think Classic Plus is over, you guys. We are changing our classic Plus, big, plus just got and how subtracted. We new chapters. BlizzCon, it's time for a new adventure. One that has grown from it was the nice to dream, though. of what captured our hearts when we first set foot in Azeroth. It's nice to dream, you guys. Don't let for your dreams be players, memes. The last 20 Ooh, vanilla? years have led us to this. Vanilla? And for those who have yet to join us, now is the time. Veteran rewards? And who better to talk about Chris the first step in this journey? Chris Metzen. <laughs> Green Jesus. Then <laughs> someone who carved the path in the first place. Everyone, please welcome my friend and the executive creative director of the Warcraft universe. Chris Metzen! My god! Oh my god, that's Chris Metzen's music! And there he is! Oh my god! Chris Metzen has returned! He's back! There he is. 
There's the man himself. The war chief what returned. <laughs> Look at the guy, he's so happy. <laughs> Holy smokes! Lord, where are you at? Boo! Alliance! Oh, Alliance way louder. Blitzcon. Despite the fact that there's like 10% Alliance, 90% Horde. The prodigal Holy son smokes. returns. There he Thank is. You. It is, uh... Thank you guys. It has been a long, strange trip to get back to this spot. I tell you that. It has been interesting this past year being back under the hood of World of Warcraft. It has reminded me of a few things. One, I love Warcraft. Mm, me too, for the most part, Chris. We have a Number lot in two, common, you and I. You know what? I really missed this work. Mm. And number three, we missed you, Chris on the real, it feels amazing to be Although back I hope your uh, tabletop adventures again. have went well. Warcraft 4? I don't think so, you guys. I'd be surprised. As Holly said a bit ago, next year... Blizzard is done with RTS. The 20th anniversary of World of Warcraft. I can't even believe it. Whatever. How many of y'all have been playing from the beginning. Uh, I quit during Shadowlands, Chris, but I, I'm, I was there for most so of it. Given that, what was that? Doesn't matter. We started thinking, so what next? He right. seems much more um, what expansion hook Comfortable, what I guess, than the other. Could possibly match the other presenters. Such a historic occasion. We started thinking about, well, I did, the good old days, right? And some of those early mythic ideas that kind of established the background of Warcraft. Started thinking about. Oh, he's talking about classic the plus here. Ideas that have played out more recently, but still in a way. <gasps> Feel a little unresolved. Oh, they they the gave the classic plus an announcement to Chris. Of all that stuff, in the mix of all those ideas. Oh my God. Particular things like, what the hell has Magni actually been babbling about all these years? <laughs> oh, champion. Was the thing that he came to warn us about in Battle for Azeroth? Did it did it actually play out, or is there potentially? Something darker, still looming on the horizon. I don't know. <laughs> Will there eventually be mm. an apocalyptic confrontation between Cthune? the forces of the light and the is, void? That's Cthune, isn't it? With the eyeballs? Talk to me, Blizzcar. Cthune is the eyeball, old guy. I'll God. tell you what, for nothing, my pally main, I'm all in on that kind of is thing. Is Cthune back? Is the Xbox really Live the shit talker back? For all the marbles. What have the well, that's not Nazoth, you casuals. That's Cthulhu. The, the hell out of here. Civilization. What is the it's going to be a, a void expansion, old god expansion, huh? Cute little installations slammed into the side of the planet. Do we know everything we need to know about their real intentions for our world? That is, his voice is so distinct. I hear Thrall Blizzcon. when he speaks. All of these hooks and a hundred more. Uh, 68, carry the two. A bunch more. <laughs> All cooking in the pot. Started to reveal a storyline. Something epic. How epic? Real epic. <laughs> A storyline that in almost every way <laughs> feels like the culmination of the first 20 years. I hear Thrall and Varian. I hear Thrall, Varian, Nefarian, Regnaros. We'd 
We do our jobs. We do the thing <laughs> that will vector us into the next 20 years of adventure. 20 years. They mentioned that. Well, they said three decades. So we, we have a discrepancy Let's here. Come. Are you with me, BlizzCon? 20 years of adventure, are they just going to repeat? We call this storyline the World Soul Saga. The World Soul Saga. Are we going to have retail players cheering for going back to vanilla? The World Soul Saga is so epic, as we covered. <laughs> it cannot be contained within any single expansion. We're going to get BFA Classic, you guys. It is built to play out over multiple expansions over the next few years. Come on now. Wait, what? Multiple expansion over the next... Yeah, they're going to... They're going to redo old expansions. Having said that, we are working on multiple ways to deliver this adventure to you a little faster than you're used to. BFA Classic confirmed. We're not going to get into it at this BlizzCon. Forgive me. Wait, what? But keep Wait. your ears peeled. I assure you, we are moving with purpose. He's blue-balling us. we really want is for you all to have to have your grandkids controlling your mouse and your keyboard trying to wrap this thing up. So, it's uh, coming. Chris, you too, you're making us feel old too. How dare you, Chris? <laughs> also, given the scale of this monster, we have decided did, to change it up today. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Instead of just debuting your next expansion all on its lonesome, mm -hmm. we have decided to give you a glimpse at your next three expansion sets. Wow. So is this including the, the reboot? Oh, I mean, we guess we'll find out. The next three completely new ones, or is it has, has to do with this, like, this with reboot? Does this approval, BlizzCon? Sounds interesting. My friends, I'm going to warn you, there may be mild spoilers ahead. <laughs> Actually, I'm just kidding. They ain't mild. Buckle up. Oh, shit. Are you ready, BlizzCon? Three expansions. This is definitely different, the I will say. The first part of the World Soul Saga and your tenth expansion is called World of Warcraft The War Within Oh shit That doesn't sound old gaddy In this chapter you will be descending into the heart of Azeroth itself <laughs> exploring new subterranean kingdoms and engaging with ancient cultures like the Earthen and the terrifying Nerubians. Yeah, the Nerubians, I was going to say. Planet. Yeah, yep, yep. This was, uh, this was teased in Wrath. Was it Ankahet? Ajkahet? I forget the exact name. Ankahet? I think it's Ankahet. You. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> Will be called to do what you always do, which is... Dispense indiscriminate justice upon all those who got it coming. Talk to me, BlizzCon! Mm -hmm. The second part of the World Soul Saga is called World of Warcraft Midnight. No, so they are new expansions. Okay, so this, this sounds like the Cthulhu. This sounds like the old god. In this chapter... This is you in the will beats. be returning, ready, to the old world. To the fabled lands of Quel'Thalas. There, the forces of the void have invaded Azeroth, intent on snuffing out the light of the Sunwell and plunging the world into darkness and fear. You will not only help reunify the scattered elven tribes of Azeroth, 
but you will make your stand with the forces of the light and banish the shadow forever. So are these all being worked on at the same time? Of course, BlizzCon. I'm so confused. It is Azeroth. Things may not go to plan. Things may just spiral wildly out of control, leading us to the third part of the World Soul Saga. World of Warcraft, the last titan. Starring Tom Hanks. Here, one moment, you guys. Give me a moment. In this chapter, you will again be returning to the old world. This time, to the wintry lands of Northrend. <laughs> and there, at Ulduar, you will bear witness to the return of the Titans to Azeroth. <laughs> and there, you will uncover a vast conspiracy, one that stretches throughout the history of the world, one that will challenge everything you think you know about the Titans, their intentions, and the true nature of Azeroth itself. In time, my friend, in time. <laughs> and it's called Silithus. There you go. <laughs> BlizzCon, my hope, our dear hope, is that you can see when it comes to WoW storytelling, we ain't screwing around. We are playing for all the marbles. We are working to establish a thundering heartbeat for this franchise. Now. <laughs> now, now, Blizzcon. Hearken to me. Always wanted to say that. Thank you. Whether you are a current player, and I'm going to bet that most of you are, <laughs> or maybe you jumped off the WoW train a few expansions ago, now is the time to come home. Now is the time to pull on your boots, pick up your broadsword or your favorite glowy staff, and get in this fight. <laughs> Friends, Azeroth needs her defenders now more than ever. Now, in a few moments, we are going to give you a deeper look at the war within. But before we do that, I want to leave you with a little something to chew on. I want to remind you all that sometimes very epic things can begin with small, heartfelt moments. What you're about to see is one of those moments. And with that, BlizzCon, proud defenders of Azeroth! Let the World Soul Saga begin!
You're here to tell me we don't get to hide. Is that it? You needed time. We stayed away. But time by itself heals nothing. You didn't just come here for me. It's the visions. You've seen them. I suspect many have lately. Something, someone, is calling out from the heart of the world. Like a voice from a dream. <laughs> Something dark is coming, Anduin. The world needs your light again. My son. I'm not that person anymore! I have no light. Not after what I've seen. Not after what I've done. You are not your past, Anduin. I trust you. getting worse. Look. Whatever's coming, I'll stand with you. Of course I will. But we were drawn here by the voice. Who is it, Thrall? Who's calling out to us? I'm not sure yet. But that sword was aimed at someone. we're not ignoring that sword anymore. <laughs> I do have to say, though, uh, every time I see that cinematic, and I've seen it many times, it gets me right in my heart. Uh, it feels like a new beginning, and it feels like coming home. And we are so excited about where we are going. And now that you've seen or heard the overview for the World So Saga, let's talk about the war within. As we all gather and explore beneath the surface, we'll find an ancient Nerubian civilization. They will be led by someone we were first introduced to in Legion, Zalatath, a harbinger of the Void. The Void brings destruction and darkness that threatens all light in our world. The last time we saw Zalatath, she promised we would meet again, and it turns out she was right. And while Anduin, Thrall, and others share the same visions emanating from the heart of the world, some are seeing something quite different.
my visions are not the same as the others. No radiance, no song, just the shadow taunting me from below. on hello hello I'm so sorry guys uh, I had an important phone call come up I'm gonna have to cut stream I have no idea what's going on I missed all of this retail stuff I'll have to catch up with it um, sorry about that you guys what is what happened can you guys give me the skinny the war within what happened I missed all of this I'm so sorry Underground zones. We will have challenging dungeons and Did they did they announce new Classic Plus? That are built to last. Okay, so if you like exploring on your own, where we are, are family, we have Dell. Uh, well, it's it's live, so you guys can figure it out. But um, for one to five players that will offer end game. Rewards. I'm sorry, Holly. I'm gonna have to turn you down. Yeah, sorry, guys. I I had a phone call come up, and uh, I'm gonna have to step away here from stream unexpectedly. I'm sorry. Um, I should be back tomorrow, I believe, but yeah, I did not expect this today, but um, thanks for watching. It seems like no Classic Plus, which is unfortunate, but we have some sort of weird stuff going on with Classic that starts in November, which I will definitely be checking out. But uh, the opening ceremony is still going, and you guys can continue it on your own time. Uh, thank you for joining me here today, you guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, all right?